In today's video, we're going to be taking apart this little server from an RC car. So these are multi-purpose and it's mostly used for remote controlling and we have 180 degree. We can spin it here all the way around. And this one here is kind of tired and burned out. So we're going to take it apart and see what it looks like inside. And this one here came out of a remote control car, one tenth for the steering. And we have a plug here that comes out of it with three wires, black, red, and white. And it's a multi-direction forwards and backwards. So we'll start by taking off the arm here. And we're going to be using this Fantic screwdriver set. It is an electric little screwdriver that charges. We'll grab our Phillips bit. We have a high load, low load, and a lock. So lock is going to act like a normal screwdriver and then high is going to give us high torque on the bit here. And we also have a little light, which is cool. So let's go ahead and take off the arm. So this just rolls right on there and we have a plastic gear, which the nicer ones actually have metal gears. So if you want to upgrade yours to a metal one, you can. And this little arm lever also comes in metal usually if you upgrade it. But yeah, there's four screws on the back that are pretty long to go all the way across. As you can see how long they are. All right, pretty simple. And then these two pieces come apart and we can see the gearing inside. So this is the upper portion. We can kind of see there's a pin there that goes into this gear here. So what this is, is like a gear reduction system that comprises quite a few gears, but not only is it a gear reductor, it's also a position sensor, which we'll see once we get deeper in. But yeah, let's go ahead and pull these gears out. So this main gear here on the very bottom is what is run by the motor. Okay, see the teeth in there? And the output is where the lever arm was. So yeah, it goes through quite a few gears before it goes out. And the reason for that, let's go ahead and take the rest of it apart. So the back cover just pops off. And in the back, we can see we got a whole schematic here. So a processor, some diodes and whatnot else here, resistors. And also the main motor is soldered to the board. So what we're gonna do is just kind of tug on it to pull it out. And there we go. Just needs a little bit of persuasion. And there it goes. You guys can see we actually have a position sensor or known as pot or puntiometer down in there, which kind of clips in on the two little clips down there, if you guys can see. So basically this just tells it what position it's in. Should pop her out. There we go. So yeah, this case is empty now. And here we have the whole system. So this is our main motor. It's actually quite large and chunky. This is actually what's wrong with this one here is this motor has gave up. Now it's possible we can take it apart here or unsolder it, and maybe clean the contactors and able to recycle it. But these things are cheap enough to just replace the whole thing. But yeah, what's interesting is the power comes from here then goes through all these gears and then the power comes out of here while at the same time being the position sensor for the whole thing. So yeah, pretty interesting. Even though quite simple, but still quite sophisticated. And the reason it needs the position sensor is because it needs to know where the middle is. Or whenever you adjust on your controller, you can precisely keep it at the same spot every time. And the only way it knows is with this thing here is where it's at. So yeah, pretty clever little server motor and quite interesting how it's all put together here. So yeah, most of them look pretty much like this. Some of them might have boards that are smaller and the motor separate, but pretty much this is how they all are. So yeah, hopefully that was interesting and maybe also somewhat helpful if you need to take yours apart and do some repairs or just take a look at it. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not for more teardowns and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.